Good morning, Charlie. Look, I speak as a huge, huge fan of Sir Ian McKellen. I've known him for a very long time through all his work for Stonewall and gay, equal rights for gay people and stuff. But he's a brilliant actor and quite a commanding performance on that stage. Oh, he's a fantastic actor. Um, and like you say, he's, he's, a, he's an icon both on and off the stage. I mean, his work for Stonewall and... Um, uh, LGBT causes, in addition to the fact that, you know, for someone my age, I pretty much grew up on Lord of the Rings yeah. and uh, mm. X-Men, you know, Gandalf. Um, and of course, you know, his acting very repertoire stretches far, far more than that, you know, on both stage and on film. So, so uh, yeah, I was really looking forward to seeing him uh, oh. and, um, you know, even more shocked when uh, he fell off. What, what happened, happened yeah, Charlie? What happened? What happened? How, how, how far through the play was it? It was almost at the interv interval. So I don't know how well you know uh, Henry IV, uh, but Hal was fighting Henry Percy and there were sort of strobe lights going off um, and it all went black for a second and you kind of see the silhouette of a very fat uh, Ian McKellen playing full <laughs> staff coming out from the wings, uh, at which point on the stage, there was sort of a step down just as the stage meets the audience. And I think what happened was he sort of misplaced his foot, lost his balance. And pretty much, I mean, what it looked like from my angle, and I was sitting on the front row just to the oh. right of where he fell off, um, he sort of dove head first, oh my God. landed on the audience member, um, oh. and within seconds, you know, was, was screaming in, in agony. Oh, dear. So he landed on a member of yeah. the audience in the front row. That's what it looked like uh, from my angle. So, well, that, um, well, that presumably, so I, Charlie, I broke, broke his okay, fall. But... but that would have helped break his fall, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Ironically. And so the, 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 the production was then presumably cancelled very quickly. And um, did they manage to walk him out of the theatre or did he have to go out on a stretcher? I, I didn't see him exit the theatre, but we were told um, within 10 minutes that he was being sent to hospital. It was an ambulance coming. Um, and because it was quite busy on the street at the main entrance, I think he was whisked, whisked away at the, at the back. Um, so I didn't manage to catch a glimpse of him so, actually leaving. But, but, um, so, Charlie, just go back a bit. So he falls off the stage. He lands on the lap of somebody on the front row. Presumably mm. the house lights go up. And then what? Well, it was, it was sort of a moment of confusion. Um, you know, I, I wasn't sure if it was part of the play. I wasn't sure if, you know, it was breaking the fourth wall or anything like that. You see a lot of that in theatre these days. Mm. Um, and, uh, yeah, just a lot of confusion. I thought that um, maybe, uh, you know, he was going to get up and get back on stage. But, I mean, within seconds, he was screaming. He was screaming, help me. Oh, uh, my dear. arm, help me. Oh, dear. Um, in a way that I've sort of never heard anyone say before. So it was, it was difficult, obviously, wow. to, to hear that and to, to, to hear it happen and see it happen to, to such a, a fantastic person. Yeah. Was, it, was, he, was it, he wasn't bleeding or anything from what you could tell? Did, did these assistants come to take him backstage? Yeah, it, I mean, it, it, within the first 10 seconds, we were, we were ushered out of the first, the first two rows were ushered out really quickly and then within 30 seconds, the rest of the auditorium was mm. was emptied out, so I didn't really manage to catch right. more of them other than the must, initial fall. Must have uh, been very distressing, Charlie. Must have been very distressing to hear Sir Ian McKellen, yeah, a man yeah, of all, 85 who's clearly in a lot of pain. Yeah, exactly. And uh, as we were leaving, people were crying, people were in tears mm. because people had come, you know, all, probably across the world mm. to come and see him act in this play, um, and clearly looked up to him. So to see that happen to, uh, to someone that they admire, someone they look up to, someone um, who's a fantastic person, well, he's the reason, yeah, and campaigner, like, you know, it was, yeah, it was shocking. Charlie, you were there, I presume, for one reason, to see Sir Ian McKellen. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I was there because my art dragged me along. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. What was the reaction? Uh, um, Charlie, what was the reaction from the other cast members? I think they were kind of in disbelief as well. They, they did uh, sort of help him pretty quickly. There was a cluster of actors uh, around him on, on the stage, and I think they got off stage and were helping him, but it was mainly the, uh, the ushers. And I, I believe there were two members of the audience who were doctors 
who also right. uh, came and performed uh, first aid on scene. And just uh, the one thing I think we haven't mentioned, how, how far was the fall? How high was the edge of the stage from the front row? I mean, it's quite high. Uh, it's probably, um, probably around three feet, something right. like that. It's a long way um, to go. It is. Head Did first. Stick it in your yeah. 85. Exactly, exactly. But um, well, I think it was a good thing initially that he was so vocal that it meant, you know, he hadn't... Yes, of course. Yeah. Head or something yeah, or yeah. Like and he wasn't that. unconscious. Yeah. Well, look, thanks for sharing that. And um, maybe it, the, the rumour is, Charlie, he's going to be back on stage as early as tomorrow. Maybe you can get back in there and see the mm. end of the show.